All right, it's time now for Great Day Fitness. If you have been struggling to drop some stubborn pounds, the thought of weight loss drugs that may have crossed your mind. Yeah, a lot of people are doing them and certainly a lot of talk about it. But before you give them a try, there are some things to consider. And our friend and fitness expert, Joe Carabasi, who really helps a lot of women in midlife, certainly has seen this on both sides. So you're here to talk about your experience and what you want people to understand. So thanks for being here. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, look, I think it's a good thing to have options always. Yeah. And yeah. there are some people who are just in real serious situations of which, you know, this sort of uh, a weight loss medication can be a really good option. But I think there are things that those drug commercials do not show, you know, and that, that I see literally every week. So first and foremost, we gotta realize what essentially it's doing is mm -hmm. blocking your appetite, right? Mm -hmm. Suppressing your appetite so you, f you don't eat as much, right? Now, that can help you lose weight, but the concerns with that is if you're not taking in enough calories, there's a nutrient deficiency element that we need to think about, and particularly protein, because as you're eating less and less calories, your m protein is, or your muscle is, is costly to keep, yeah. right? So if right. you're not getting enough protein to keep it, enough calories to keep it, you're gonna lose it. And so often a lot of the initial weight loss can be muscle, which is not what you want. Yeah, so you if you are taking muscle. those drugs, you do wanna prioritize that make sure protein. you're still eating protein, eating regularly. Exactly. And and even if you're not hungry, you should still be eating the protein, right? Well, I, 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 I disagree with eating at the, in that sense because I think one thing we have to teach is healthy habits. Okay. And we never wanna eat when we're full. It's just not a good rule. Now, now, that being said, drinking is easier than eating. In other words, having shakes that help, it's gonna be easier to have a protein shake than it is to have a four ounce piece of chicken. Got it. Another consideration we gotta think about is the effect on your metabolism. You know, so when you are taking in significantly low calories, whether it's because of an injection, a surgery, or just a really restrictive diet, it's gonna directly slow your metabolism down. That's just how it goes. Like there's just, your, your body has less to work with, right? Well, that then, the messes with digestion and elimination. So there's also a lot of gastro issues you need to be concerned about, but also your energy. And so, we're, we're, you know, we work primarily with women in menopause. Well, unfortunately, two major things women have to deal with, as you probably know, is metabolism slowing down through menopause, mm -hmm. through nature, as well as as that happens, less energy. Mm -hmm. And so these are just considerations I would just advise a woman, particularly in menopause, who is thinking about these and injections. And perimenopause, which, by the course, way, starts yeah. like 10 years before. So yeah, yeah the, the estrogen, as early as 37. Uh, estrogen goes down, and that does really slow your metabolism. And also uh, stress, right? So your cortisol goes up, and that helps you store fat. So you also do yeah. a lot of uh, routines of healthy eating, exercise, and the mental. You have hypnosis, you're certified in that, so you can really help people with the stress or even there's uh, really bad patterns around food. A lot, and that's another good point. That I, I'm glad you brought up because that's another thing, right? Whether it is an injection or whether it is a surgery, not to say those things are bad per se, but the, well, if we don't address the underlying issues that brought us here, in other words, we don't learn how to eat in a way that supports our lifestyle, but also that we feel good about ourselves. If we're not able to figure that out internally, then no matter what method you use to lose weight, there is gonna be that yo-yo there because ultimately self-sabotage lives within all of us, and particularly in the areas of which we have trouble with. And so if you're someone who has struggled with weight your entire life, Without question, there is underlying self-sabotage subconsciously affecting you in ways you may not be able to see. Mm -hmm. And so it's something that you know, we really wanna be aware of because you know, the cost of yo-yo as we age, men and women, but especially women, mm -hmm. we pay a high tax. Uh, just qu real quick, we only have about a minute. Uh, is, are these weight loss drugs better for men as opposed to women? I wouldn't say that. I mean, look, let's face it. Men are always going to lose weight easier than women, no matter what we decide to do. It just is, you know, and More I'm not, that's muscle. not fair, but it is. Uh, so I wouldn't say that. I just think no matter the candidate, you just got to make sure you objectively you're taking a step back and looking at the pros and cons and making sure you have a plan, not just to get to your goal, but what happens when you do get to your goal. Okay. So Joe, you also have a plan I want to get to um, for a great day. Connecticut viewers, you have something pretty relaxing. It's a weight loss pod session can actually help speed your metabolism, but it's also really nice. Uh, and you can get one free when you mention WFSB. So go to uh, buy one, get one free. Sorry, buy one, get one free when you mention WFSB. You can find out more at definewellnesscenter.com or WFSB.com. Joe, thanks so much for your time. My pleasure, and guys. And your advice. We so appreciate that. Absolutely. How you doing? Good? Awesome. Good. Yeah. Nice happy to birthday see you. to your wife. Thank you. It was, it was a little bit over a month, but yeah. Oh, well, happy, ber I, happy belated birthday. Lady I want to see that. Mary Kay Kiribati. Yes. I want to see that four is next. Stay with me.